stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other men who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Haughty sailor in plain rags and a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does the crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close. She real folks have laid out vast amounts of their hard earned money. So simply.
Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind these blood samples we're taking? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the King's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me, then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our sample to a Templar safe house in Rio de Janeiro. We will not be the observatory's first subjects, I assure you. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return? Precisely. Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. <laughs> it's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? Package in. They finally set a date for old Bonnie. It'll be Boston this time. I have a contact there who's not so fickle, you might say. Regardless, they all want more cargo, so it should be popular.
Master, welcome. Buenas noches. The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago. And so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. It is something, though. And what measures are we taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage is captured. What is the sage's present location? Do we know? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. The winds do not pay for that. I concur, Grand Master. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making this trip journey. Slave galley? Captain, I asked you to divest yourself of that sick institution. I failed to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to rebuild. But enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow on. Natural, efficient. A fair point, Grandmaster. Where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us down river. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real, something beyond yourself.
What's our course, Captain? We're in Japan, Quartermaster. We're sailing for the coast of Africa. Roberts. Don't stay long. The crew's getting restless out there. Captain Kenway. Yet another dire situation, Roberts. We really must stop meeting like this. Stop tailing me and your wish had come true. There's no need for this. 
You know I'm as good as my word. Our Captain Howell was killed today in a Portuguese ambush. Headstrong fool. I warned him not to go ashore. It was orchestrated by the Templars Burgess and Cockrum. The same sort that took you to Havana. Ah. I see now there is no escaping the Templars' attention, is there? I suppose it is time to fight back. I do like the sound of that. And I know just how I'll do it. But these men, Burgess and Cockrum, they cannot be allowed to leave with word of my escape. They won't. Count on it. If you spot any men from my crew, do them some kindness and send them here. I'll do all I can.
sin grupo y mantén un ojo. Only watch him carry, maggot. We're not waiting on no one. Put the muscle in that bottle, or we're leaving you behind. Do us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <coughs> a cocksure, Cully? Just like Harlick all said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? In honest service, there are thin commons, no wages and hard labor. Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life 
when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor. Ha. Now, I have been among you six weeks, and in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own, and with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. But, if it's a captain you see in me now, I then, I'll be a bloody captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it's better to be a commander than a common man! Yeah! Oh. You fatten with your assistance. I'm looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you.